Let me explain that again. So I've got my drawing paper here. And I'm going to tape it to my scratch paper that's on top. So that can be anything. That could be a drawing I messed up earlier. It could be a bill. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, and I'm just going to use two small pieces of tape to stick them together. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to have my vanishing point off the paper and have kind of a narrower angle of focus on my image. Uh, okay, let's put this up here a little bit. How does that look? That looks all right. So I'm just going to put a little piece of paper in each of the corners here. I'm going to go ahead and tape the two pieces of paper together and tape my paper down. So now I'm going to make a horizon. So we're going to draw a house today. Here's my horizon line. It's going to go all the way across both papers here. I'm going to do one vanishing point way over here on the scratch paper and one over here on the far side of my drawing paper. Can't see that one, but it's over there. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to have to move it for you to see. Right there. I'm just going to leave it there. All right, so let's start by drawing the front corner of our house here. I'm going to make the house like a two story house. I'm going to make it like pretty big. So maybe I'll put the front about here, I think. All right, so I'm gonna use my square. I'm gonna draw the leading edge of the building here. And I think I wanna make the roof about here. Uh, take that off. Okay, so first let's start with the leading edge. Now I'm going to Make orthogonal lines going from the vanishing point. Oops. To the top and bottom of this edge. Okay. Same thing going the other direction. You practice this a lot. You're already super good at it, right? All right, so now I'm gonna decide where the uh, back of my house is. Add that in. I want it to be probably about here. I'll make the other side about here. All right, so now I've got This wall, and this wall. Yeah, we can see that. Okay, it's about all the space I have over on that side then. So remember that. All right, I'm gonna make like this over here, kind of the entryway. So maybe I'll make a front entryway coming off of here. So I'm going to make that drop down a little bit like this. So I'm just basically going to draw another box in front here. Let's try that again. 
Let's actually erase the horizon back behind there too. I'm actually going to draw a line going straight up here to make my entryway. So I'm going to go up from this orthogonal line, this direction. Now I'm going to make it come out from the building. I'm going to aim that at my orthogonal. It's not quite long enough to get there, but that's all right. Make this come out. And then going up, it'll do the same thing. Um, I'll make this go up. And then this side will connect to the other orthogonal. And we'll make the input go down here. All right, so there's going to be our entryway there. So let's draw some details in there. Make it kind of look like this. Top and a bottom. And we're going to have some columns. It's going to be a fancy house. All right, so there's our columns. We'll have a driveway that circles around. Actually, yeah, we'll keep that. Now I'm going to put in a pool right here. So my pool will be pretty easy. Just going to make a square one. So you can follow along with me. Once you feel comfortable, you can start adding your own things on. These don't all have to look the same. So once you feel like you're ready to start running with it, just run with it. It's totally fine. I'm going to make the back of the pool way back here, kind of like this. have like a little patio running around it. Mm. 
Mm, I think the caddy should run all the way up. that clears the pool. All right, so there's our pool. Got a patio kind of running around the pool, all right, but probably need like a hedge. I think we probably need a hedge, so let's draw a hedge. Go like this. Got a little privacy around the pool with our hedge. This. And we'll come back this way. Probably shave my head, Jen, a little bit. And come in and do some hedgy check texture. A couple of spots. So I'm gonna make it go around the corner there. Add a door over here. So I'm going to say probably about here. Two vertical lines. Let's make double doors. It's a fancy house, right? Uh, we'll have an orthogonal line on top. I'm going to do a little arch for it. door. Let's do some windows. Let's do some windows. Alright. Let's make it a little more interesting. Let's do another window. Let's do a Window right here. Let's do a round window. That's weird. That's a weird choice. Let's add some stuff on the top floor. Uh, I'm going to add another room here. Whoops. I should probably use my square because that doesn't seem very square. Much better. All right. We need some like turrets. If we're gonna make a real mansion here. So it's part of the second floor there. 
I'm going to do some more on this side here. Put that another one over here. That looks pretty vertical. And then that will go down this way towards the left hand vanishing point. Add some roofs to those. So I'm gonna do like a pitched roof here. Boy, this is a crazy person house. <laughs> That's all right though. It's kind of fun. Go off this direction. And do another one on this side. Cool. Need another turret. This one's going to be like a cylinder going straight up out of it. So I'm going to make this cylindrical at the top, but I'm going to draw in some orthogonals to guide me. This kind of a cone on the top here. Make some windows. All right, there we go. Okay, so you can continue along with that. Just keep adding to your house. Um, you can stay with me and keep drawing with me. I'll keep drawing on this. Um, or you can go on to async now. I'll work on this until 8.15. Not 8.15, 8.10. Um, I'll keep going, but add your own stuff and try to customize it and make it your own. I'm going to do like uh, what I want to do. I want to do a uh, balcony out here in front of this one. So first I'm going to do, do like a door here. I'll have it come out on the balcony. So the balcony will come from here. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. Can I get the attendance though? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot I was going to put that back in. Okay. And paste. There you go. If you need the attendance doc, make sure you fill one out today before you leave. <clears throat>